What's up, everybody? This is your boy, Mr. T Money 1993. Back with another vid. Um, this is my breaking down all our draft picks that we took uh, in the NFL draft this year. Um, round one, we got Kelvin Benjamin, six foot five, two hundred forty pounds, out of FSU. Um, NFL comparisons I seen him compared to was Alshon Jeffrey and Brandon Marshall. Um, I think even at his lowest point, I think the worst he'll be is like a Plasco Burris, who was still a number one receiver, um, but wasn't what I would say elite. His strengths, elite size. He's a good possession receiver. Um, and he ran a uh, 4.6, which for his size is great because he's almost near a tight end size. Um, also, I think some positives is that he'll have Ricky Pro as his head, co as his position coach. And he'll have great leaders at the wide receiver position in Jericho Cotri and Jason Avant. Weakness, um, he can have inconsistent hands at times. He can have drops at times. And body control, not using his height and his jumping ability to his best advantage. Um, round two, we got Connie Connie Ely out of Missouri, um, six foot four, two hundred seventy three pounds. The NFL comparisons I seen was Alden Smith and UCM and Ura. Um, he's versatile. He can play inside at defensive tackle and outside at defensive end. He has a full repertoire of uh, pass rush moves. He has a quick first step, good character. He hasn't been in trouble or anything like that. Um, he had the fastest three-cone time for a defense alignment with a 6.83. Um, weaknesses, he's not really a speed rusher, which is why I think in passing downs, he'll play at defensive tackle. And his 40 wasn't that fast. He ran a 4.92. Um, was projected as a first-rounder. But we got him in the second round, so good value pick. Also protects us just in case Greg Hardy leaves. Um, round three, we got uh, Trey Turner. He's six foot two, uh, three hundred and ten pounds out of LSU. Strengths, um, he's very very fast for a guard. He ran a four nine three. Um, he has an excellent motor, good balance, above average agility for a man his size. Uh, he has strong hands and will be great at pulling with the way he's he's a mauler. He's tough. He's nasty. Uh, he's going to open up some holes pulling, with, especially with him and Ryan Khalil. Um, weaknesses, he only had 20 career starts at LSU, but, I mean, that's the best competition in football. Um, his other weakness, the only one I could find was they said he had small hands. Um. In round three, no, round four, we got Trey Boston, safety out of UNC. Um, he's six foot, two hundred and four pounds. Strengths, he's rangy. He's uh, he he can move around well enough where he could even play single high safety. Um, good speed. He's a ball hawk. He can go across the field. He can cover long distance. Um, he accelerates quickly, and he was an effective tackle. He had ninety two tackles last year, and the year before that, he had eighty five. Um, he also made 85% of his tackles that he attempted, which was top for safeties. He also can play man somewhat, and he's durable. Um, he had five, yeah, like I said, he had five picks last year. Weakness, he can be beat in zone um, because he'll stare at the quarterback too much and not pay enough attention to the receivers. Uh, he tends, he can guess at times, like try to guess, I guess, what the route is going to be. And his pad level, sometimes he plays too high when he comes to tackle. But he was projected as a second, and we got him in round four. I think he, right now he'll provide death. I don't, I don't, I'm not sure if he beats Thomas Deku out, but he may. Round five, we traded up. We traded, um, we swapped fifth round picks with Minnesota and gave him our seventh round pick. And we got Benet Ben Wilker. Uh, 5'10, 195 pounds out of San Jose State. NFL comparison I saw was Leonard Johnson, cornerback from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, which I'm fine. At least he wasn't compared to Jonathan Banks. Strength, he's an excellent leaper. He can go up and get it. He has a 40 and a half vertical. I mean, he can get up when I'm pretty much any receiver in the league. Great play recognition. He knows when to come up for the run, and he knows when to stay with his receiver. Uh, great zone corner, which is what we run most of the time. Uh, he played special team, even though he started in, uh, at San Jose state. So he'll add special team help. He's great in cover three, 
good. Uh, he's versatile. He can play inside and he can play outside. When he plays outside, he uses the sideline as another defender will. Um, five interceptions last year, first team all whack. Uh, weakness, he's not as good in man, which we don't run that much, so that's fine. Uh, he can be beat by curl routes because he needs that. He need he he gives a cushion most of the time when he covers, and he's not that good at pressing, which we won't ask him to do that much. Uh, round six, our last pick, we got Tyler Gaffney, the big running back out of Sanford, five eleven and two hundred and twenty pounds. His speed, he ran a four four nine, which is decent for a man his size. His three cone time was six seven eight. He's a big bruiser. He always keeps his feet moving. He falls forward. Uh, he doesn't have any fumbling problems. He's tough. He has a he has a north south style of running, meaning he's gonna get what he can get. He's not. He doesn't have a lot of elusiveness, and he is at his acceleration isn't that good. Pretty much when he hits top speed, he hits speed. He doesn't have a second gear, but um, he plays special teams every year except for his senior. Well, except for his last year at Sanford. And last year, he ran for over 1,700 yards and 21 touchdowns. Um, I already said his weaknesses, but I'm I'm confident in our draft. Um, we didn't get Antonio Richardson because he didn't get drafted at all because he had a uh, microfracture surgery. But I think he signed as a un as a as a free agent with the Vikings. But i I like our draft. Um, I wish maybe we could have got maybe another receiver, but um. David Gettleman said he uh he said he liked the young guys that we got as far as Taquan Underwood's a good young guy, Marvin McNutt and Tavares King. Um he said we didn't take a tackle because he felt like after the top tackles it was a huge drop off. So it's, I guess he didn't think that much of Morgan Moses or in, Antonio Richardson or Fleming or none of them. Uh but I'm confident in our draft. I feel like we start. We pretty much replaced everybody who left in the off season. I feel like our secondary will be better. Um, I think my next video might be coming back with a tentative death chart. Um, but we got a good nickel cornerback. Uh, we're also moving Charles Godfrey into the nickel. He's not going to play safety for us anymore, which he played corner in college, so I'm not that worried about that. Um, we got insurance just in case Greg Hardy leaves, slash another pass rusher. We got the one of the best physical specimen receiver wise in Kelvin Benjamin. So I mean, I, I'm confident in our draft, and I feel like like last year we'll be able to. First of all, I think we'll be able to get undrafted free agents, and I feel like David Gettleman's drafts are better than. Marty Herney, because Marty Herney was a good first round drafter, but he wouldn't be able to draft. He wouldn't draft nothing else that was still on our team. Like really, look at all the messed up picks Marty Herney had: Everett Brown, uh, Dwayne Jarrett, um, Drew Carter. Um, who else is other people that they tried to tell us was going to do something? Really, the only pick we have outside of a first. From Marty Herney still on our team that I can think of is Greg Hardy. Other than that, uh, he struggled in the other rounds. Like I guess he just picked in the first round and took a nap. But anyway, Panther Nation, check this video out. This is your boy, Mr. T Money, nineteen ninety three, and I'm out.